Today's project is going to be on a mortise jig. My next project calls for some mortise and tenon joints. And this is the mortise joint and the tenon is this part for those unfamiliar with that. I need to make a jig to cut these mortises out. The jig is adjustable. I had some extra knobs and so I just used those. And this is a sample of a furniture leg that I'm going to be building. So I've just put together a, a sample piece to test it on. And I'll be doing, the, I'll show you the mortises that I'll be creating and this will just sit down as such and we'll uh, cut the mortises. Here's the tenon jig I made earlier. I just started putting it together before I realized I had it done and didn't pull out the camera. This one's adjustable so it fits over my fence. One of these days I hope to get an upgraded saw and a better fence. So that's why I went ahead and made this adjustable so I wouldn't have to go and remake all these jigs once I upgraded my saw. Here's the different parts we're referencing in this project. So this will give you a kind of a illustration of the different parts. So this is here, it's in action here. Works pretty good. Here I'm cutting one side to form the tenon. Then I'll turn the board around and cut the other side. So now I just turn the board on its side using this upright as my stop block and cut the cheeks off. One side and then the other. Now I have the start of my tent. Well, let's go make this mortising jig. I start out with just ripping some quarter inch plywood for the base. Here I'm just using a center punch. I needed a two inch hole in the center for the router bit to go. I figured I needed a little more height so that center drill bit in the whole saw wouldn't go through into my table. Using the base plate of the router, I just marking out where the screw holes will go so I can drill those out.
Here I'm drilling a quarter inch starter hole that I'll use as my starting point on the router table to route the slots. I'm using a spiral upcut bit for my slots. I'm going to use quarter inch T-nuts that will anchor my knobs for the adjustments. I needed a recess. The hole's just a slight bit for the T-nuts. With my T-nuts now in, recess just a little from that Fosner bit drilling I did, we can see how the clamps go together. my adjusting for the stock that I'm going to put a mortise in. So all we have to do now is mount this to the router. There it is. Let's check it out and see if it works.
Well, there you have it. My version of a tenoning and mortising jig. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next project.